I, I get to go home for the holidays because my uh, and, and I get to visit my grandparents. My grandparents are awesome. My grandmother is like 87 and she's just losing it. And that's the best time in your life. And everybody gets like upset, like because she'll just say shit. Like she will just. She was like super religious and conservative, and then she just I don't know hit her birthday and was like fuck it, you're a cunt. And I'm like whoa, nanny. Um, and it's awesome, and everybody's like ashamed, you know? They're all like, oh, you know, and I'm like, fuck that. She's 87, okay? She survived like five world wars or whatever happened. I don't read a lot of books, but when the Mars attacked, I think she was front lines. Um, you know what I mean? Like, if she should be able to do whatever she wants at this point. Like, trust me, when I hit 85, I'm gonna run out, pee in the snow, and whip frozen urine balls at people. I'm going fucking nuts, okay? I'll just grab boobs randomly. What are you gonna do? I'm old, okay? I'll wear a fucking cape. I'll call myself old man or something. It's not clever, but I'm ancient. Um, so, uh, but the best now is that she's been giving me relationship advice. And this is, this happened, okay? This was last Christmas. We had a big family uh, dinner. So we're all sitting around, and one of my uncles is like, so Jay, you're still single and in your 30s because he's awesome. He's probably my favorite. And, um, and that's what I want to talk about <laughs> in front of everybody. So I'm like, yeah, you know, but I'm very, I'm very picky. I just, I, you know, I don't want to make mistakes with my life. I want to be very, you know, careful about that. And then my grandmother gets in. She's on Team J. She's got my back, right? So she goes, uh, yeah, J, yeah. And you don't want to be with anybody who's been used either. <laughs> It's just like 20 people, very formal dinner, and everybody's like, hmm, mashed potatoes. These potatoes are mashed. They're very well, super mashy. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck that. This is the most interesting thing that's been said all night. So I'm like, so how, how would you figure that out, Nanny? Uh, that doesn't seem like a first date type question, you know? Like, this lasagna is scrumptious. Have you been used at all recently, ever? So this is what she says. She's like, no, you don't ask her. You just make sure you check her seal first. <laughs> check her seal first. Uh, which I didn't know was possible. I didn't even know that was a medical thing. Uh, because apparently to my grandmother, the female vagina is a lot like a cup of yo play. Yeah. When you get down there and crack it open, it should make a popping sound. That means it's fresh and hasn't been tampered with. What? Uh, I don't think that... Uh... Okay. All right. Um... Here's, here's the th I know what she wants. I know what she, she's an old, of the old generation, so she wants me to find a nice virgin. That's what she's trying to say. And, but come on, these days it would be easier to find a flaming bag of shit with a diamond in the center than a fucking virgin. Seriously, I would rather look for Waldo for 15 years than a virgin. Um, and that's probably why he's hiding. He's the last virgin left and he's terrified of all you sluts. Anyway, so. He's got a turtleneck. He's not getting laid. Come on. So, actually, the second Waldo gets laid, that's going to be a shitty fucking game because he's just going to be in the front of every picture. You want some of this? You want... I've been... I'm kind of awesome. Um, <laughs> oh, Waldo. So, I know that that's what she wants. She wants you to find a virgin. But that's not even necessarily what I want. You know, I don't think I want a virgin because to me... You know, the vagina is less like a cup of yo play and more like a little soldier. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want a soldier that's never been to battle, you know? Because then when the shit goes down, she's just going to cry and run away. You don't want that kind of soldier. That's not what I want, you know? <laughs> you want a soldier who's been through a few minor skirmishes. That's it. Some territorial issues... They know the equipment. They're not going to panic. You know, they're not battle tested, you know, like free. Uh, I don't want a Vietnam vet. That's not what I'm fucking saying. That is not what I want in a vagina. I don't want, you know, I don't want to get down there and be like, your vagina has shrapnel in it. What the fuck happened to you in your life to this point? That was, your vagina is chewing tobacco. That's... Where's the last chopper out of this bedroom? I need to go. <laughs> How was the date, man? I don't know. Her vagina kept twitching, calling me Charlie. It was pretty weird. <laughs>